Hello everybody and welcome back again for yet another build. Um, if you caught my last video, um, you know I did a little overview of the Cougar turret mesh case and uh, I said that uh, I was still doing my build in it and what have you. Well I finally finished that build. The uh, last part that I was waiting for actually arrived earlier than I expected. It was showing that it was going to be here sometime next week and then my wife brought me down a package and I was like, oh, wow, already? Cool. And uh, what that was was the uh, radiator that's in here. Uh, so like I said uh, in my last video, I'm not one to leave a case uh, plain. Uh, that just isn't me. And uh, so I decided to paint this one. Um, as you can see, I painted the uh, front grill up here. I painted it red. It wasn't too hard at all. Uh, the only thing I had a little bit of problem with was this uh, cougar emblem there on front. It had the plastic film on it, and I thought that would be okay uh, when I painted. I thought, yeah, that would protect it. But if you look real close, uh, right down like where the lettering is, there's little bits of paint on there. But actually, when all is said and done, that actually looks kind of cool because it kind of blends in there it kind of looks like a little bit of fire going on so it's 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 kind of a fuck up but it actually works <laughs> but uh other than that i also painted let's turn this here a little bit uh i painted the uh hard drive rack down below i painted the two ssd drive racks and i painted the uh, ra uh pci uh brackets in there and uh, I also painted the uh, power supply bracket that holds the power supply in. So I got a nice little red theme going on here with all red RGB, or no, excuse me, not RGB, <laughs> red LED fans. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get my words all jumbled up there. Uh, you'll see six fans total there. Plus I got the... Uh, memory cover there doing a little red effect the only thing that isn't red is the uh uh aio it's green that's just kind of the way it was i you know i thought maybe i'd be able to uh change the colors on it a bit but no there's no option like that it just stays one color it's it was a cheapie this was only like uh 76 bucks for a uh 240 millimeter it was uh something i wanted to try out a, a product i've never tried before it's one of the cheaper chinese ones uh do i have the box here yes i do hold on take a look at it look at this the cooler pioneer 240 it's all in chinese everything's in freaking chinese here this is like nothing in english let's see AMD socket, AM4, Intel. Yeah, shows the sockets that it works for. The uh, instructions for it were all in Chinese. I think I got them still. Uh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Hold on here. Let me unfold these so you can take a look at this. There we go. This is the instructions for it. As you can see, it's all in Chinese. <laughs> so you had to kind of guess at it if you want to install this. But, you know, I've, I've done this like a zillion times. So it was actually kind of pretty easy to figure out. It uh, actually seems like it was a lot easier to do on an AM4 board than it would be like an Intel. Because uh, on an AM4, you just put the two little brackets in on the top part right here. And then you just screw it down on the board. Didn't have to tear apart the back plate or nothing like that. That was pretty easy. Um, my wife actually was a little disappointed, and I, I had her down in my office um, last night when I had you know all the fans and stuff going and, and the uh, the memory thing, and and I said, well, what do you think? You know, it's all red, and, and she's like, yeah. She could have used more color. I was like, more color, you know. I get. She kind of likes those builds that I do when I do uh, a total RGB setup, you know. And and uh, 
uh, that's understandable, I guess. But uh, I don't know. Every once in a while, you know, you got you got to go back to just the basics. Just you know, I mean, it, you don't have to do RGB all the time, and that really wasn't my intention on this build. Um, I think though, it it, it looks pretty dang sharp. <laughs> You know, it was with all that red going on there. Uh, even the uh, Wi-Fi card that I got in there is red, and I haven't put a graphics card in it yet. But uh, you know, I got the cable mod, well, the cheaper version, uh, cable extensions here, red and black, and that's what it is in there. It, this is kind of a tinted glass. I ain't gonna smudge this up it's still got the film on it so as i can do this but this is a tinted glass so it actually looks a little bit darker than what it actually is but you can you know you can tell that it's red and black and i got going on the eps there and on the power there um this is running a uh ryzen 5 3400g in here with uh eight gigs of ram and uh this is the way i'm gonna sell it i'm not gonna put a video card in it uh, I just think this is just going to be like a, I don't know, mid-level PC just for general productivity and casual surfing and mild gaming and stuff like that. It's, I don't usually, uh, go with gaming PCs all the time. I mean, I just like to build PCs and that's why I decided to go integrated on this. I was thinking of putting like a, uh, like a GTX 1660, 1650 in it, something like that maybe, but um, I don't know. I, I like the performance of the uh, 3400G. It uh, It's one of those kind of processors that, you know, it, it, it's it got a base of, what, 3.7, turbos up to 4.1 or 4.2, I don't remember. But uh, it's one of those processors where the, the GPU on it is actually pretty decent, but... Uh, if you want to go with like a dedicated graphics card, then it's also got the muscle to handle that too, which I, in my opinion, I think it makes it a good buy. So <laughs> that's why I went with that. Huh. Um, uh, the, the case was actually pretty easy to work with. Uh, you know, like I said, I, we went over an overview of it in the last video. Uh, then when I actually did the actual building in it, uh, I had no problems whatsoever. No problems at all. Uh, AIO went in like a breeze. It's, it's just, you know, everything screwed down so easy. I was able to, uh, get the cable mod extensions in there and stuff all that in there. Plenty of room. Uh, wow. It's, it's, it's actually a pretty nice case. And, uh, it's one that I will absolutely consider buying again for, uh, other projects for other customers. Uh, <laughs> one 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 problem uh well i guess there's a couple uh things i could add on to like the overview that I, had, I didn't uh quite cover the last time um like up here uh i noticed that the uh button for the power it's kind of touchy and you actually don't even maybe i can do this on camera you don't even have to really touch the power button you can just tap right here maybe it's not going to do it now maybe there we go see how i just tapped right in there and look what's happening computer's shutting down now i noticed that when uh i had a usb stick up in there and i went to pull it out and then all of a sudden the computer starts shutting down i'm like what the hell so it's obviously making a contact there with the power button. It wasn't the reset button it was hitting. Because if it was a reset, it would have reset, right? So I, I don't know. Maybe I can adjust that button a little bit. I noticed it like it, it sits a little low. Uh, I guess I'd have to take it off to show you. I'm not going to do that. But <laughs> it uh, it's, it's pretty touchy there. I, I don't really like that. I mean, I'm not going to shoot the case down uh, because of it. But... It uh, was something that I noticed, and uh, hopefully you don't notice it either. Maybe it was just, you know, the little little flaw on, on, on uh, my case that I got sent. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little touchy there. <laughs> uh, another thing, uh, 
let's turn this here um, that I didn't mention was the uh, the PCI slots here. Uh, they're not the kind that you know you have to like pry open and pull apart. I mean, they all all seven of them are uh, screwed down and removable, which was kind of nice. You know, made a, uh, painting them a lot easier. That's for damn sure. And I didn't have to uh, dig up some replacement ones to paint. You know, because you know a lot of times it's like that in the, in, in the cheaper cases where you know you you want to do something with the slots or put something in the slots and you got to bend them back and pull them out and cut your finger and what have you that that wasn't a problem here at all uh it's another plus for this cougar case you know i i am not to give a uh, cougar some credit here on this one you know i mean i don't know i guess with, when it comes to cougar they're they're either good or they suck and and uh this one's not bad at all i mean i i'm absolutely happy with it i think it was well worth the price that i uh had paid for it uh i like the glass too another thing i didn't mention about the uh glass is uh it's got you see it right there like a little bit of a black border that goes around it here on the sides so that it hides kind of like the little rivets and and what have you that tend to show when you got an all glass uh case so i like that too that's another thing i like about this case uh one thing i don't like and it's not too big of a deal it's just something to, to show you uh you know, you know of course i told you there's a little cougar logo there with the cat with the glass on it's a little harder to see i, I you know i think it's showing up okay here on the on the camera but I don't know. I guess it's it's just a little too dark for my taste. I think if Cougar wanted to do something cool, uh, they could maybe ch take this whole uh, whole uh, uh, cage there for the uh, power supply and what have you, and form it uh, in acrylic instead of metal. Uh, you know, a lot a lot of these things are removable this one isn't removable but if they uh, made this into an acrylic cage uh then they could make that cat and that cougar logo or cougar uh wording there uh, kind of not transparent but you know what i'm talking about you know kind of like the same as these uh ram covers where you know you can let light shine through there and that you know how it glows what the hell do you call that but yeah, I mean, then you could put like a little light right there, a little light strip, maybe even an RGB uh, addressable strip in the back there. And that would just really, really just uh, make this case just awesome as hell with that Cougar thing there. I, I would love it. I would definitely buy it a lot more <laughs> if uh, they did that. Uh, the uh, uh, RGB is actually uh, on the... Uh, on the uh, ram covers is actually one of these the uh the kind that i typically use and it's got the three pin addressable headers on there so if i did want to put uh some addressable uh fans in there or an addressable strip i could just uh daisy chain off of this controller and uh you know like go hit auto and then of course you know you see there that it's making its different little effects and actually i think that one's actually a little bright i lower the color level in that <laughs> the brightness level just really shines through in there uh so yeah but you know i can just leave it in red and uh here let me lower that so it matches the rest of the fans and uh the fans that i got in here are some up here fans and uh they're not very bright, but then again, uh, they are PWM. Uh, they do brighten up when uh, they start hitting their peak top speed. So, I mean, they'll, they'll kind of dim a little bit when they get down to the lower RPM range. Right now, I think it's running probably at about... Uh, well, let's check it real quick here. We can go to the CPU ID monitor software and see what it's running. Yeah. 950 RPMs is what it's running at right now. The uh, CPU fan's running about the same. Uh, that's 
half speed um about half well it's it's a little a little more than half speed uh in the bio settings i had it set to silent mode or quiet mode whatever and uh i got that on the pwm for the cpu set to quiet and the system fan set to quiet on the, the pwm on this board uh i don't know if it's quiet or not it's it's i guess kind of quiet let's let's put my microphone up here do you hear this yeah if you heard that that's i don't know i guess how do i describe it, it it's not an annoying uh loud noise i don't think it's really loud at all in fact it is quiet but it's not so quiet that it's inaudible uh so you know if you're thinking of going like with a, a fan like this and and of course the uh the uh link to where you can get these fans on amazon of course is on the uh, builds.gg uh page for this build uh if you want to get something like these you know they're only like 15 bucks i think it was for a set of three uh, of course you know i got two sets of three here like i said you know i got six fans going on here they're not too bad uh a preference if I was going to spend more money on it would would I'd probably put like some uh, some of those uh, deep cool CF 120s in here that I usually like to use or uh, maybe some Noctua's but uh, these are just kind of eh, I needed some fans and they're are, are red and uh, they're cheap type uh, purchase here and uh, all together the 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 system. Uh, come to about 600 bucks uh again if you're if you uh follow the link here if you're on youtube watching this video uh follow the link down in the description that'll go to the builds.gg website and you'll see a uh, breakdown of everything that's in this computer you know minus the uh paint <laughs> that i used uh <coughs> the uh, well i don't know here I guess I don't have too much more to say about this build because I kind of covered a lot of uh, what the case was about in the uh, overview video that I did. But, of course, you know, whenever I do a build, I, I am uh, doing videos on the build itself. So, of course, I had to do another build on this case. Uh, so, I guess as a follow-up to the uh, overview build, uh, overview uh, video that I did, uh, I guess what I can say is that this was a... Uh, really really nice case to work in and uh credit to cougar here uh for uh bringing this one out it's it's got some excellent airflow here uh let's look at our temperature right now we've been sitting here a little bit 25 degrees celsius at idle nice nice <coughs> so that's the kind of cooling that i like to see in a computer if it's up like in the 30s low 30s that ain't too bad either but man you know when you're in that range there where the motherboard's reporting you know 25 degrees celsius <clears throat> excuse me at idle then you know you got some good air going through there and you know like i said the 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 fans are only running you know like 900 rpms and like i said they're a little bit loud but if you can imagine this system with some more higher quality fans like some like some noctuas or something going in here which will actually you know pump a little more cfm and even be quieter yet a lot quieter than what these ones are running uh yeah you're gonna have an extremely quiet system there i mean i, I love this case i really do i'm almost uh tempted to uh take my computer and swap everything out of it and put it into it i love this thing so much because i love this airflow that's coming in here uh i guess the main thing that prevents me from doing that is uh on mine i've got the uh burner going on there and i actually need that for uh <coughs> people for other computers that i work on uh you know because every once in a while i'll get a situation where i'll have to burn something to a cd or something to get it to work because i work on a lot of older computers too and some of them don't have the usb support or uh 
or else I can't get, or, or if it's something like with like Windows 98 on it, you know, which I'll you know pr probably end up throwing out, but or XP or something like that. There's always something situation that comes along where uh, I'll have to uh, write something with the burner, and that's why I use a burner. But, but of course, you know, I could always buy a damn external burner and put it in there. But I'm not going to do that. This like when, uh, like I said, this one is uh, for sale. It's about 600 is what it costs to put it together. It's, yeah, that's probably about the range I'm going to sell it for. It ain't going to be much. I'm just going to, you know, sell it, flip it, and uh, <coughs> call it a day and uh, move on to the next build. Well, that's it for this one. It looks like I went over the 20-minute mark here, so my uh, thing cut out a little bit there. But uh, I will see you all in the next build. That'll probably be a while. I'm back to work here in uh, a couple days. I've had the last couple of weeks off, so I've been kind of slacking around. Uh, I, I should really clean up my mess here. It's kind of been piling up a bit. I got like, you know, tools everywhere. I got lights, extensions, insulin, and all kinds of shit on there. I need to clean off my desk. Uh, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you around. Bye.